Hi, my name is Autumn McCullough and I'm a recovered alcoholic, a wife and a mom of three. I have always had an issue with drinking. Um, it started at a young age. I was sexually assaulted by a family member, so I used the alcohol to mask that. I had issues with my dad. We didn't speak for a while and then we finally came to terms and we were on good terms for about three years until he passed suddenly and that just sent me into a downward spiral. Shortly after he passed, my aunt passed and it was at her funeral that I had to sit near the man who had assaulted me. I don't really remember leaving her funeral, um, but I do remember going home and I started drinking and I had my aha moment. I was like, you know, I'm not giving this person this control over me anymore. I'm done. I'm taking back my life. And I heard about came to believe recovery through my husband, Forrest. That was the last time I ever drank. My name is Forrest McCullough. I'm a recovered alcoholic and addict. Uh, just a rough childhood. Um, my father was a terrible influence. He uh, started us on hard drugs, and we've we done it for a long time. I was. 21 years old, it was Halloween 2011. We'd work all day long, and then we'd come back to the hotel, which we'd been living in for nine months, and we would smoke crack and shoot pills until we fell asleep that night, and that was a recurred nightmare every single day. And I was supposed to take my daughter trick-or-treating that evening, but uh, we fell into our same old pattern, and then I went down to my mom's house to steal food and uh, I saw her there. And uh, this was the first time that she had ever seen me and wasn't happy to see me. Everybody else has already disappointed me. I, I was fine with that, but she was the only uh, person that mattered at that time. And so the next day, my father and I went to this recovery center and, and it was based on the Came to Believe model. And uh, it, we spent nine months there and, and I mean, I haven't looked back at all. I was very skeptical um, and I was terrified, but I've never had so many people come up to me and hug me and, you know, welcome me. And it was just, I belonged. When I hit that door, I belonged. I was where I was meant to be. This took care of the problem and then it gave us the solution. And then we were able to live that. You know, I, I've got family that trusts me now. I've got reliable friends. That's that's what it means to me. It's it's a stability and a lifestyle that that is that I've never known before. It gave me relationships. Like I didn't have relationships before this. I didn't know how to have a relationship with people with myself. And it's given me. It's taught me the way and given me the tools to have healthy relationships now. Came to believe recovery changed my relationships and that I have actual relationships now. It was. Before, you know, even the family that I was using with didn't trust me and, and we all hated ourselves and hated each other and now we have sincere relationships not only with each other but can make sincere relationships with other people and be a you know, positive member of society. I don't, I don't wake up with any regrets. If anyone would have told me four years ago when I was still drinking that I would be sitting here telling people my story. I never ever would have, I never would have believed I could have made it a day without drinking, let alone sharing my story. And that's what Came to Believe does. It changes your life. The family gets sick together and so the family gets better together. And that's, that's what I like is that uh, it's a program for a family. We got sober through Came to Believe, but it healed our family too. So it's just one big. Happy family. Yeah, really.